Hi, I'm Peter Charles of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing and welcome to my beginner's fly tying series of videos. Today I'm going to look at a CDC emerger. Uh, CDC, by the way, stands for Cul de Canard. It's French for basically duck butt. Uh, the preen gland of a duck is at its rear end and the duck uses it to spread oil all over its feathers so it can remain afloat. Now, these feathers are full of oil, so then when we tie them on a fly, they're ready to float, basically. Uh, we don't have to put floats on them at all, so they're quite a good feather to use. So this fly is tied with some CDC and some dubbing, and it imitates a mayfly emerger. Uh, when mayflies are hatching, they'll come to the surface, they'll split out of their shock, they'll crawl out of it, sit on the surface, and fly away. Now, sometimes when you've been fishing dry flies, you might have had the experience of seeing activity all over the water and not catching anything. Often it's the case that the fish are taking the emergers and not the dries, so it's handy to have some of these in your fly box when you go fishing. So let's get started. Let's start by looking at our materials. Our hook today is a Camasan B830 a dry fly hook. Uh, you can uh, use this version or there's plenty of other dry fly hooks on the market. Uh, this one's a size 14 as it matches the size of the uh, Hendrickson uh, mayfly that we're going to imitate today. Our thread is a uh, uni tan in an 8 aught. And our dubbing for the body is a synthetic in a fine and dry Hendrickson pink. So the first thing we're going to do is tie on our thread. And let's start at the beginning and wind about half the way back. Let's cut off the tag. Now we're going to take a Kuldekanar feather and we're going to strip off some barbs to use as the tail. Here we go. Just a pinch or two, half a dozen or thereabouts. Just put those on top, pinch loop couple of more wraps. I'll just wind that back and I'll stop at the gape of the hook. And I'll pull the front up of these tag ends and I'll cut that tag end off. Okay, now we're ready for our dubbed body, and there's a number of ways we can do this. Uh, we can tie it on dry, we can wrap it on using a little bit of water, or we can use some wax. Today we're going to use some wax. Uh, I recommend that for people who are starting out in fly tying, it's a little easier. And you can see I've got a super tack wax here, and I'll just put some on my thread. Not on the hook, just on the thread. There we go. And I'll just smooth that out with my fingers. I'm going to take a pinch of dubbing with my left hand. And I'm just going to pull bits off with the right and wind it on. I'll just push it up to the end. Pull a little bit more off. And you keep doing that until you've got a little bit of a rope going here of dubbing. You want a nice smooth rope. There we go, that should do it. It's usually better to uh, start with not enough rather than too much. It's easier to add than to remove. So let's start by dubbing our abdomen. And don't be afraid to work backwards if you have to, to get the profile you need. We're stopping about halfway because that's where we're going to tie in our wing. Now our wing is composed of two CDC feathers. And you can see I've stripped off the quills there. I'll put the two feathers together. I'll tie in those quills. Just straighten those feathers up a little bit. Now we're going to put some more dubbing wax and we're going to dub in our thorax. Now the thorax on mayfly is a little thicker and heavier than the 
abdomen, so we'll do this a little thicker. Again, it's easier to add than remove. We need a little bit of room at the eye, so don't crowd the eye. And we'll just add a little bit more there. Now we'll pull those CDC feathers over. We'll tie them in with a couple of loose wraps. I'm going to grab our bodkin and come in here and just pull that up a little bit, tease it up. Until we get a little bit of a loop. And the reason why I tease it up is it makes this job easier of cutting off the surplus. That's why we pull it up. I get a nice clean cut here. If I hadn't pulled that up, I would end up with a messy head that would uh, take a lot of wraps to clean up and I'd be trimming for the next five minutes okay now it's time to whip finish come in with our whip finisher and there we go trim off our thread and a little bit of head cement and we're all set to go fishing Okay, there's our CDC emerger. A nice, quick, effective pattern to use when mayflies are emerging. In this case, I've tied a Hendrickson pink, a light Hendrickson. There's also a dark Hendrickson version you can tie. Uh, it's one of our early mayflies that we see here in Ontario. So check your uh, local uh, hatch charts, see what's coming off, and tie this uh, particular fly in the colors and the size that you need for your local hatches. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.